I have been discriminated at this school. Um, I put my work up on the wall, and it was a self-portrait, and somebody drew a penis on it. It really made me feel like I was back in first grade. Maybe they feel threatened. I stand out. Discriminated. I discriminate against fat people. <laughs> I mean, it's not something that I do all the time. It's just I sort of make fun of it. And it's mean. And I know. <laughs> I used to be discriminated when I was younger because I was fat. People, well, other kids were um, used to, to make fun of me. And uh, I couldn't do all the things that I wanted to do because I was fat. I tend to discriminate against younger people because for me they're just immature. They are always making scenes, yelling, I don't know. It's, they're just annoying. I noticed that a lot of times when we're just driving around and hanging out, uh, we all got age discriminated by cops. They would just stop us around for not doing anything and give us a lot of trouble just because we were younger and we were driving beat up cars. If uh, we were older, I'm sure they would never stop us and just give us all the hassling. So I think that's a form of discrimination. I've discriminated against um, I guess homeless people sometimes, I assume that they want to ask money from me, so I automatically turn on the defense mode where that's probably not the best thing to do. You, um, you, you shouldn't assume that people are trying to get something from you or wanting something from you, but sometimes I get into that mode just out of stereotypes. Like walking around the supermarket, and I was like just looking into the electronic session. And then like, I think the manager was looking at me and said, like, hey man, go home, like, or leave the store, like, and I think he was, I, I think he, he thought I was a homeless person or something like it, but I think I just, he discriminated me because the way I was, because of my clothes, I was wearing shorts and like a shirt and flip flops and. I don't like working with women because they're, they're kind of whiny, like they're always complaining, nothing's perfect and yeah, basically, basically it's like that. I've been discriminated for being a woman. I used to belong to a skate team, and um, we used to train for a marathon, and guys would always make fun of me because they thought that I couldn't make it to the end, to the finish line. They would think, they think that you're weak, that you can't, they don't have that much stamina, that you can't do the same things that they can do. I discriminate against uh, Religious fanatics, people that go to church every day, I can't stand them. People that pray every day, I don't know why. It's just if you're, and because th those are the type of people that would tell you what you're doing wrong and they think that they're always right because God is on their side. Like, who the hell are you? I've been discriminated uh, for my religious uh, beliefs. Uh, in fact, I have a a tattoo which is about the Virgin Mary and it covers my whole back. So every time I go to the beach or a swimming pool, like people, I don't know, see me like a freak and I, I, I feel it, you know, but that's what I like and that's what I believe on. Uh, and I discriminate against uh, Chinese people because I believe that they don't know how to drive, but I, I don't know if I do it in a mean way or in a nice way, but I guess there's no a nice or mean way. I just, I, instantly I think if an accident happened, I instantly think that there's a Chinese behind the wheel. But it's not true because I have drive before and there's actually a Mexican behind the wheel. But you know, when that happened, I just laugh that I cut myself lying. I think I was discriminated against uh, a couple years back uh, me and my friend, he was an Indian guy, we were just driving around at night, the music wasn't too loud. We passed a cop car and they kind of looked in and our music wasn't loud, we weren't smoking, we weren't speeding. And 
we drove by them and they stopped us uh, for no particular reason, asked whose car it was and so forth like that, and it was mine. And I personally believe that we, we were racially profiled. One example of discrimination, I guess, is pretty recent. Uh, I had drawn a penis on the portrait of this guy who's gay at school, and he took it the wrong way. And I, it was just a joke, and I don't see what the big deal is. Like, you know, it's not like I went up to him and, and started railing him for being gay, but, you know, that's, 